Hey, good morning. I wanted to go over something with you guys real quick this morning. Um, have had quite a few conversations about carriers, you know, saying to me, hey, Paul, I have plenty of money. I don't need factoring. Why do I need your service? You know, why, why I, I don't, I don't need factoring to process my loads for payment. I have plenty of money. Okay, cool. That's great. Well, there's an aspect that I think is incredibly overlooked with carriers understanding the added benefits of factoring your rate confirmations, your invoices to get paid the day of delivery as opposed to waiting 30 days or sometimes even 120 days to get paid by a broker. So I wanted to go over that with you real quick. Um, so basically I put a quick slide together. A factoring company, we're doing the invoice processing to get you paid on the day that you deliver the load, but something that also needs to be considered is we're basically your administrative assistant and we're also your bank. So we're gonna be doing your invoicing, your billing, and your collections, so you don't have to. Um, and that's why I think it's important for carriers to understand, yeah, we're buying your invoices to get you paid the same day of the delivery, but at the same time too though, we do these other functions along with doing credit checks on brokers to make sure they're approved and a variety of other tasks. So we are your bank, we're depositing the money into your bank account, we're doing that, and then at the same time too, we're doing the invoicing, the billing, and the collections, so you don't have to. So let's expand upon that real quick. In terms of collections on your rate cons, your invoices for the loads you do for brokers, there's three, way, three ways for a broker to get you paid. Um, first and foremost is freight factoring, which is the fastest same-day deposit. With me, if you, get you, if you get me your paperwork before 3.30, I'll get you a deposit the exact same day. If it's after 3.30, I'll get you a deposit the next day, 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning, whenever your bank opens up and you'll have your money. Um, the second fastest way to get paid on your loads that you run with brokers, it's broker quick pay. Four to six days to give a deposit into your bank account. It's not super quick, but it's better than waiting 30 days or 45 days or 65 days. Um, and then the service cost that that broker charges, 4% or 5%. My factoring is not 4% or 5%. Um, significantly cheaper than that. Um, and then the third way to get paid on the loads that you're doing is snail mail. Waiting for a check to be mailed out to you anywhere between 30 days or 120 days for a broker to pay you. Um, yeah, I have seen them take 120 days even longer. So let's go over it in some more detail too, you know, thinking about collections. If you don't have a factoring company, you are responsible for picking up the phone and doing the collections. Um, that's not a fun task. I'm sure we all have had a friend that we gave them 20 bucks, or we gave them 100 bucks, or maybe we gave them $1,000, and we're waiting for them to pay us back, and it's stressful, it's frustrating. It's like, hey man, I gave you that $1,000, and I was just trying to help you out, and you seemed like you needed the help. It's time to pay me back, and I'm, I'm tired of asking you. I'm tired of following up with you. This is annoying, this is uncomfortable. You owe me my freaking money, pay me the money. So where does that come into play? You know, in terms of the factoring company, well, we're buying that rate confirmation that I owe you to be paid at a later date by the broker and we're paying you the day you deliver the load. So we're taking this from you um, and then we're waiting for this broker to pay us in 30 days or in 120 days, somewhere in that time frame. Um, common sense says, you pay your bills every month, it's what you do. If you pay your bills every month, that means you have a good credit score. It means that business pays their bills every month, so that means that business has a good credit score. And that's why you do a credit check on the broker before even picking up the phone and calling them to negotiate pricing to accept the load. Um, otherwise, you can call them up and say, hey, 
what time is the ETA for the pickup, how much, you know, how many pallets, how much is it paying, what does it deliver, okay, cool, I'll accept that load, and then you hang up, and you're like, oh, shoot, I didn't do a credit check, which takes two to three seconds to do, um, and then you check them out on the credit check system, and then it comes back with a red score saying they're not approved, and then you got to call that broker back and be like, I can't do your load because you guys aren't approved. It's not the end of the world. Ideally, you want to work with brokers that pay their bills and have a good credit score, don't we all? So we don't have to worry about issues with getting paid. So, you know, making those annoying phone calls to brokers, if you don't have a factoring company, you have to do that. You. Um, and call and call and call and call to get them to pay you. Um, you know, easier said than done. Um, you know, all of us have missed a payment, I imagine, on some bill in some capacity. It's not a fun feeling. I used to be an accountant before I got into the freight game, um, and it was like pulling teeth. I hated it. So in terms of this um, meme right here, accounts deceivable, as opposed to accounts payable or, or um, accounts receivable, um, terms net whenever, you know, net 30, net 90, net 120. Um, I thought it was kind of funny, but, you know, the bill is due, the carrier needs to be paid if you're not using a factoring company. If you're using a factoring company, again, we're doing the invoicing, the billing, and the collections as part of the factoring service for you. You don't even have to worry about it. We do it. So, Let's think about it for a moment. Um, your loads for the month that you're gonna run. Let's pretend you're a brand new MC. Brand new. Your first 30 days in business. This is totally realistic. These numbers right here, totally realistic. Ah, this is today's date. It is September, 2024. Um, these are doable numbers right here. Um, these are what carriers do that start with me and then you know probably on their third month fourth month fifth month twelve thousand four hundred and fifty five dollars that's times two if not times three um with one truck so let's think about it for a moment um your loads for the month okay let's say you do 12 loads over the course of the month brand new mc your mc isn't even 30 days old and you run 12 loads. Um, you did your first load, uh, line item number one, load number one. You did it on the first. Um, then you did another load on the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth, etc., etc. Um, those are the prices that you did for each load that you ran. And that's kind of a breakdown. Um, that, but then if you're not using a factoring company, you are responsible for calling that broker and saying, hey, it's time for you to pay me. Um, I did that load for you on September 1st. Last month, it's now October 1st, 30 days has gone by. You should be paying your bills every month like everybody should. It's time for you to pay the carrier, you. I'm pretending like I'm you, the trucking company. Um, oh, sorry, yeah, we haven't done that yet. We'll get that in the mail for you. You call them again. Hey, um, I'm calling on invoice number 137992. I did a load for you on September 1st. Um, can you please pay me? Oh, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll get that out to you immediately. We'll, I'll send it over to the accounting department, and they'll mail you a check. Click. And it's, it's just this game of this wonderful lady right here. You know, it's people being dodgy with not paying their bills. Um, if you don't believe me, you're more than welcome to find out. Uh, but again, using the analogy of your friend that you gave 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 1,000 bucks to, and how many times you had asked them for them to pay you back. So you're asking these companies, all of these brokers right here, you know, Freightway Solutions, Trans Global Freight Services, um, Eagle Eye Logistics, Blue Horizon Freight, Atlas Transport, calling them, calling them, calling them, calling them. Hey, I don't have a factoring company. You are going to do your own collections because you don't have a factoring company. So you're going to probably be making around 10 calls to each broker on average. And you have to keep track of that to get these people to pay you. Or the factoring company will just do it for you.
we'll just do it complimentary for you. Um, so at the end of the day, I have people that I speak to on the phone and they say, Paul, I don't need a factoring company. I got plenty of money. Um, I don't need your service. I'm like, hey, that's cool. That's fine. Um, but do you really want to be responsible for pretending like this is the month of September? Then you have October and November and December. You're, you're going to have to build your own Excel sheet. You're going to have to keep track of all those names, phone numbers, people that you've emailed and multiple emails as well, the number of times that you've reached out to get these people to pay you. And, you know, a beautiful example that I can use is a carrier that I've known for quite a while. He's a rock star guy. He started off with a 40-foot hot shot. He's up in um, Pennsylvania. His name is Keith. Great guy. Um, he started out in the oil business, and he did that for a number of years. And then he got tired of working for somebody and decided to start his own hot shot business. Um, so he got a 40-foot uh, hot shot. And um, he started maybe back in 2020 with me, perhaps. And um, he did very, very well. So well, he upgraded. Um, and he graduated himself to an 18-wheeler with a 53-foot Conestoga flatbed. And um, I know here we are almost at the end of 2024. And the guy did great. Um, probably about two years ago, Keith... Con was contacted by one of his old oil buddies that was still in the business and they needed help moving some oil equipment. Um, it was a good price on the load. It was for $6,000. Um, however, we checked them out in the credit check system and they don't have good credit. That's okay though. Um, it is at the carrier's risk to choose to do the load or not. Um, it's up to them. So I told Keith, you know, it's at your discretion. I can't factor this load. They have bad credit, and that's not what we do. We don't work with people with bad credit. But you could use that to your advantage. Maybe ask them for more money and get a you know an email, something in writing that reconfirms that they're going to pay the Keith, my carrier. Um, they're going to pay him in you know forty five or fifty days. Um, and uh, Keith did get it in writing, did get it in an email, and Keith chose to not factor that load, which is fine. He doesn't have to factor every single load with me. He can pick and choose. So he rolled the dice, and he knew this guy. Um, was an old oil buddy of his. So uh, he did the load. Um, and then Keith was not paid on day 45, day 50, day 55, day 60, day 65, day... 90, day 120. It took Keith probably over, I don't know how many phone calls it took Keith. I was calling that guy, telling him, what the heck, you've, you're committing fraud, you're not making your payments. Um, and that was even me going above beyond because it's not a load that I'm factoring. I'm not buying this invoice from Keith for me to get paid later. I told Keith on the front end, hey, I, I, I'm not going to do it, but you can do it at your own discretion. Um, and that's fine. But even on that, it's a load that I can't even help. I'm not even factoring it. And I was even picking up the phone and calling this guy, trying to help Keith get frickin' paid for the load that he did. Um, and it literally, it, it, they ended up paying him six months later, probably, I don't know, it could have been 20-plus emails, probably more than that, probably like 40 emails over the six months following up, following up, hey, when are you freaking going to pay out the $6,000? And then Keith, it's it's six grand. He's waiting, yeah, it's six grand, waiting over six months to get paid. And it's like, hey, I got bills to pay. You know, I, I got expenses and things break with the truck and I need the repairs and I need the $6,000 and waiting to get paid, waiting. Get, and the guy kept on saying, oh, it's in the mail. We've mailed it out. It was never in the mail. Oh, we did a direct deposit. There was no direct deposit. And he just sang the same stupid thing, dragging it out for six months. And that's what it came down to. And eventually Keith did get paid, but six months later, $6,000 a lot of late nights, not sleeping very well, a lot of stress, a lot of frustration, irritation, aggravation, and spilling over to other aspects of our lives, whether that's outside of work and you know personal stuff. Um, so is it frickin' worth the headache? Um, sure, I get it, you got plenty of money, that's great. You can do your own billing and invoicing and collections. Well, the factoring company, we do that. 
we do it in terms of we are right here. I like I like this bullet point. Um, we are your bank because we're depositing the money into your bank account, same day deposit, and we're your administrative assistant where we are doing your credit checks on brokers, we're doing your billing, your invoicing, and the collections, so you don't have to. Just focus on taking care of the truck and maintaining it, building your relationships with brokers and direct shippers, and running your loads and taking care of your drivers. Um, why worry about the administrative side? The factoring company will do it. So we're gonna process your loads for deposit, but we're also going to uh, do the collections and talk about uh, function that's like pulling teeth and that is so irritating but anyway this has been a long video um, hope this was educational um, and if you ever need anything reach out to me catch you on the next video have a great weekend bye